July 24th of 1989, and here is the new Reedmobile. The last one I'm probably going to buy in the 1900s, and that's the truth, folks. <laughs> what you're looking at is my new 1986 Pontiac 6000 STE, and we're going to do a little uh, tour of the car the way I got it here in July of 89. Okay. It's that 6000 STE. It's actually silver. We call it a light gray, but it's actually a silver car. This sucker is clean as a whistle. It really is. The outside's a bit dirty now. There's splatter marks on it, but who cares? <laughs> there she is. Look at it. There's virtually no rust at all. Let's open her up. Show the interior of this sucker. A couple years ago, right in the same spot, you saw Art Volo's car, which was all brown or bronze. This is the same thing, but it's gray. This is what I didn't get a very good close-up of last time. This is the remote control for the, uh, the outer mirrors, the side mirrors. There's actually four cursors up, down, left, and right. You can control either the left or right side mirror from this control panel. And you have, of course, four door locks, four power windows. Here's the remote controls for the radio on the steering wheel, which is kind of neat. <laughs> and here's the high-tech dashboard, which, of course, right now is off. But when I turn the key in a few minutes, you'll see what it looks like when it lights up. I can, as you can see, it's very, very clean. Very, very clean. These are the original floor mats that came with the car. You can see there's some dirt there. And I'll be putting some seat covers on that I got, some uh, sheepskin seat covers eventually. There's a back seat. With my stupid sunscreen there. This is all cloth, all cloth interior. It makes for a nice quiet ride too, I might add. And I have this GM protection plan for the uh, rust and corrosion up to 100,000 miles. As you can see, this is very clean. I mean, there is no rust on this thing at all. It's extremely clean. All the rockers and stuff down here. This is all rubber, which is smart because rubber does not rust. It's all very, very clean. Let's even look on the side for the... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Various oil changes and stuff. This is a three-year-old car with lots of miles on it. We're going to do a jump cut and then show you what it looks like when the car is turned on. Okay, here we go. I'm sitting in the back seat of this thing so I can focus in on what's up front. Um, here are the controls for the heater and all that. And, of course, these things all get very brightly lit up at night. That's a little thermostat I added. So you can see it is over 90 in here. Here's the radio. I hear this is a $1,200 radio with built-in equalizer, five-step equalizer. Auto reverse tape deck with seek and repeat and all kind of fancy stuff. Balance and fade. I even have AM stereo in this thing. Five presets for AM, five for FM. Real nice. And of course, there's my high tech dashboard. But you can't see real good because it's uh, bright daylight right now. In fact, you can't see much of anything. <laughs> yeah, steering wheel is blocking that, so. But anyway, that's what she looks like from the back seat. Nice car, though. Nice car. As you can see, very clean. It's got a center console right here. This whole thing pulls up. It's even got a built-in cassette rack over there. So. She's nice. She's nice. So that's the car, gang. Thought I'd do a real quick tour of the car the way it was when I bought it in July of 1989. It's just my, just about my dream car. My real dream car is a Corvette, but uh, this will do in the meantime. But this car should get me into the year 2000, at least I hope. So 
This is my 6000 STE from 86. It's Ray Glasser on July 24th of 1989. Bye-bye.